All right, guys, we've got the next video in UC CNC, CNC for noobs, and the touch probe coming out. Um, I've got everything turned on, it's registered. I have a quarter inch dowel pin in my uh, collet in my tool area. I have the Triquerta probe right here. Um, so let's go ahead and see what we can do um you guys probably don't have the pendant so i'll just go to continuous so all i'm doing is moving over and now forward and down okay so this is my cheat sheet that I posted in the last video um, so we home the machine already. I just need to go to the tools tab. I need to go over to probe. I need to go to page two, outside corner, outside corner, and when I click on that one, it highlights green, outside corner. It gives me two axes, X, Y. My touch off distance is positive one, positive one, because I need to come this way and that way. All right, now, my gauge height as probed So now we go to select the marked zero uh, probe axes, axes one count gauge. All of these take into account the um, size of the axes. So this is where you need to have a little bit of understanding of your probe itself. Okay guys, something you need to be made aware of about your probe is the size of the edges for locating the corner. And in my case, I measured it with a dial caliper. Let's see here. So on the x-axis, we're at 4.9 right in there so when I measured it I actually had two hands and I got 4.89 and I measured it three different places and averaged it um, we're gonna be pretty darn close um, plus or minus three thousandths uh, we have to do the same in the X now my X and my Y are not symmetrical so Whenever I'm doing my probing, whenever I do my probing, I go over to tools, I go over to probe, and I go simple probe. My movement is one inch this way. My axes, or my axis that I'm using is X. I want to zero the probed axis. Um, I want to count the gauge. I want to count the diameter. Um, and then I don't need these two. That's actually if I'm doing something else. Um, I have mobile probe checked. Um, 
And that's about it. Okay. And I can't take into account my probe diameter. So I can just go to start probing. Oh, damn. Okay, I can go over to start probing. And now my X axis is probed correctly without the compensation. So if I take that to zero, I can go to MDI G0 X0 enter and you can see I'm there all right and then I can repeat that for the y-axis and I can probe the same way and then I can go to probe tool and that will probe my Z axis once I change my tool out. So those are your setups. There's my cheat sheet and basically go from there. If you guys have a symmetrical block, you can go to page two and do a corner and then whatever your gauge height is. So mine varies from 0.489 and 0.473. And I can actually just say it's 0.489 on both of them. And then I can actually do two positions at once. So I need to jog that okay so now I picked the corner and I'm on the outside corner and I lined up on the outside corner I'm saying that my gauge my gauge thickness on the edges is 0.489 my fine distance is ten thousandths my retract distance is ten thousandths my fast feed is ten my fine feed is five and we're going to zero so we can actually start probing so we zero probe axes uh, axis one count gauge Axis one count diameter, so on and so forth. And we hit start. Okay, now if we go to zero, G zero X zero y zero in the mdi there we go and like i said we're my my touch plate isn't symmetrical from here so i am off a little bit but for the most part you'd never even know 
And that's how you use the touch plate for finding your X and Y in UC, C, and C. To find your Z, you just go back to page one, do a probe tool, and follow the steps on the cheat sheet.